Hey guys, Tunable here. Sorry about that big not uploading spree there. <clears throat> the truth is, uh, I just had a really full schedule. Uh, I may have also gotten grounded for a week for a stupid reason. I hate the matter. Anyways, you don't care about that. So I'm just gonna get right into this video here. We're going to be looking at terrible fan art, okay? Not just any. We're going to be looking at Sonic fan art in celebration of the brand new Sonic game coming up. Help me. Okay, what's gonna happen here is I'm going to pull up a piece of fan art that I found on Google and we're going to either critique it or something. Mostly critique, but this is going to be painful for the eyeballs. Get your bleach ready, either to drink or for your eyeballs, whichever. Let's not waste much time here. I'm going to pull up the first one right now. Okay, so this is something. I can't tell if this is supposed to be My Little Pony and Sonic mesh together. It seems like it's supposed to be with the whatever the hell that is on the ass cheek of the horse. Uh, Sonic's face, or Ponic as it says it looks completely mortified and looks like he wants to kill himself Hello, darkness, my old friend. much like me but in a slightly darker fantasy so basically Ponic here is an original character it seems best drawn in the land I've never seen checker floorboards so in tile and match I don't know what that means exactly, but you know, just think of something. Uh, right there, you see they were very inventive by putting the dot of the eye as a head of Ponic. Honestly, I've never seen a piece of art this well. I can't tell if they are in modern day Picasso or in Albert Einstein. Because Albert Einstein is a great artist slash scientist with a brain bigger than the size of a pea. So obviously, this guy must be him because no one can ever make tiles that nicely put together as whoever drew Ponic. Okay, so that one was pretty great. So I have high standards for the next picture we're having here, which should be just as good or even better because the Sonic community has the best artists ever. And I think anyone, no matter who you ask, can confirm this, even Picasso himself. Okay, what the fuck? What is this? There are so many things wrong with this. I I don't even know where to start exactly. I, I can start with the uh, face, the odd foot. That's really disturbing to look at. Or the quote. Or anything really. But it, it's all bad. And I'm going to point out a few things here and there. Okay, first thing first is, if you look at his face for long enough, for some reason, I think instantly of Joey Salads after he pulls off a fake prank on all of his fans, and he's all sitting there like, Hey, 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 I fooled those suckers. They think blacks are racist for breaking windows on a car that would have a Trump. Racism give me money. Is it only me that thinks the foot is very odd? Like... The rest of it is a, some kind of art style, I guess. And then the foot is just morbidly realistic compared to the rest of it. Not to mention the weird kid furry thing that seems to be on a pogo stick behind him shining on his foot. Or is that a tattoo? Or I don't want to know. Also, another kind of odd thing is the the way his arms are, I mean, not the way he's posed or anything. I mean, his body looks oddly human compared to games or whatever. But, I mean, his arms are, like, muscular, very odd, and kind of creepy to look at. This might just be nitpicking now, but it's the shadows and all that that's just throwing me off. Like, they seem to be going in different directions in different places. Some things just don't have shadows. Uh, it's just very weird for me to look at, personally. Since I draw with pencil, uh, that I'm just kind of used to shading in correct places everywhere. So, I mean, that might just me be, but... I think I've talked for enough about this, but there's one more thing I want to talk about. 
other than there's this creepy looking mouth but it's you're in for a wild ride kid does that have something to do with his oddly not shaded reflection in his foot of a furry kid okay I think I spent enough time on that thing it was very creepy and I was really let down after seeing Ponic before that I just put the standards too high uh, next we're going to be looking at another great piece of art you know, same quality as Ponic so you know this thing's going to be very very good no letdowns whatsoever <clears throat> First thing first, what the hell is up with all these weird fetishes, especially up with all of these little kids stuff and all that? Uh, why do they need an original Sonic Amy mix character that happens to be green? Don't ask me how I know this stuff, I used to play Sonic as a kid. Happy birthday Sonic, more like runaway Sonic, or I'm going to eat you alive in my weird fetish on the internet. Also what's up with the hill phasing into her general stomach area? Uh, it doesn't seem like a hill will naturally form like that, you know, going into someone's stomach, then out the rear end. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a fart cloud or a hill, but also what's up with the blinding, bright, annoying colors. Seriously, these things are so bright, it is giving me a headache, and not the good kind either. Uh, I don't know what kind of headache is good, but certainly not the kind that comes from this. This thing lied to me, it's not as good as Ponic. I swear to gosh, if I don't meet something as good as Ponic by the end of today, probably going to kill myself okay I'm hoping that this one is going to be very good if not I'm just going to turn it off without talking at all okay so be ready because this is going to be the best one out of it or this video is gonna be 30 seconds long